So you stole it. Hello guys, welcome to today's match between Man of War and 6am. This is the Flame Challenger and Gaming Goblet welcomes you to our tournament. This is the group stage and I wish we have the best of the match from today onwards. From the Starting from 23rd of February till 20 Feb, we hope we will have the most amazing finale. And since this is group stage, let's see how this goes. So we have uh, Man of War, Sony, Sunny, Mohit, Fang, Elki, Great Trek, and on the attacker side, that is 6am, we have Dead Spirit, Babusha, Gambler, Gambler, Back, and Fire God. So it's going to be amazing. They have chosen the map accent, and defender side, we have Man of War, and on attackers, we have 6am. I hope you're all excited for this match and I hope we'll have an amazing Select beginning to agent. the Flame Challengers. Uh, we have lots of giveaways guys so stay tuned to know more about it. It will be during the match we'll announce a giveaway so stay tuned for the match to begin and let's see what goes. So here we are at Ascent. So everyone's ready. I guess we have a different lineup this time. Reina, Cypher, Reese, Omen and Sova on the defenders and Killjoy, Omen, Sova, Phoenix and Reina in the attackers. It's a very different lineup and I think this is a very powerful one considering this is an decent map. Both, both of them have chosen controllers and sentinels to make the best out of this match because Ascent is quite good in defending if you have sentinels in the map and sage and cypher are great sentinels on ascent fire god is our sage on the attacker side and alki is on the uh, uh, defenders so let's see the alki is our cypher so how it goes right now that spirit is trying to push through the courtyard in mid fountain trying to get a peek but unfortunately omen smoke has plugged his side babusha everybody's trying to rotate as off in the middle oh this is quite exciting as of now we have not had any action as the moment this is really exciting 
uh, Alki is trying to hold off side P. Despi is trying to push through side B in the hope of getting a killer sneak. And we have some action that is going on. Gambler, unfortunately, Fang took out the gambler's back. And we have the first kill taken out by the attackers. Despi took out Mia Fang and then Sony took out the gambler. Oh, we have the last place and the defenders won. Wow, that was very quick. So, Man of War has won the first round. And it's one for the Man of War and zero for 6 a.m. Quite shocking because usually on usually it's attackers that took out kills really quickly. But this time, defenders took out the win very easily, very quickly. And it was quite a quick rotation from their side. I think... Uh, Fire God uh, Sage is trying to push through side A while Mohit is trying to hold off as much as I can from this from any push from mid. This time I hope 6 a.m. takes out some action before the attackers push. Now we have some action on side A. Great Trekker took out Gambler. Unfortunately, Babusha took out Great Rank uh, Great Trek. So, we have just two left on the attacker size. That's our Omen and Phoenix. Unfortunately for them, Suwa is trying to take a peek with his drone. Unfortunately, Babusha got detected. And Gamblers is back. is trying to hold off any push from Last back. Standard. Unfortunately, Sunny took out Babusha and the defender was again because... Uh, Alki took out Gambler and unfortunately it's another loss for 6 a.m. and attackers won. So 2 for the defenders man of war and 0 for the attackers. They are trying to alternate between A and B but they are playing mind games with 6 a.m. They are trying to hold off mid as much as they can and then pushing from side B. That's something new that we have seen. Fang is trying to hold off at side B with Cypher. And Great Trek is trying to hold off at A with a Omen. Dead Spirit. Unfortunately, Dead Spirit and Fire God and... Elki got detected, unfortunately, for Dead Spirit. He's trying to push off in the middle. But unfortunately, um, Gambler's back took out Mohit. And that was one kill of the defenders. But the attackers took out Dead Spirit. And there's 3v4. They're trying to take a quick rotation through the treehouse. Trying to push through sight B from back. Backstagging is going to work from them because M Fang, Cypher, Alki are trying holding off mid, and if it works out, it will be a win for 6 a.m. But I think Alki got alerted, and so did Great Trek. They are trying to prevent any breach at site A. Luckily for Gambler's egg back, he got lucky and he was able to push to side B. Planted the spy. Sunny is trying to detect where he's holding off. Alki is trying to hold off mid in the hopes that he might fi find somebody. Unfortunately for them, Great Trekker took out uh, Gambler's back and they are defusing the spike. And unfortunately, Gambler was killed. Defenders won again, so 3 for defenders, mana 4 and 0 for 6 a.m. Right now, defenders are winning every chance. They are trying to hold off both side A and B well enough, not letting anybody push through it. D despite the fact the spike got planted, they took out the last two players very easily. That's a great defending from mana 4 and Ascent is a defending map. It's kind of really interesting that it has, gives both advantage to def uh, attackers and defenders but this time defenders are holding off very well Fyagos is trying to take any peek if he can 
Eric has already put his camera in mid market, trying to hold off any entry from mid. Babusha is trying to push to site A. Six M is trying to play mind games a little bit with Man of War in hopes of changing their gameplay. They are trying to push up at side B while only one player is trying to push to side A. It's kind of interesting that how they are trying to distract with them with one player on side A. If unfortunately that was a very beautiful operator by Alki, he took out one player from the attackers. There's were uh, 3v1 and Meow Great Tech. Unfortunately, Alki took out Dead Spirit and that was another win for the defenders. It's 4 for the defenders, 0 for the attackers. Man of War is leading the game at the defender's side and it, it's, it's getting interesting. As of now, we have great defending by Man of War. I think this time 6am is trying to change their gameplay and push through site A instead of site B. Take flight. They're trying to push up in They already detected something is going on at site A and they have all rotated towards it. Unfortunately, Great Checker took out that spirit, fire goth, and gambler Babusha was taken out by the Swiss. That was a very good defend by the defenders arena. Oh damn, that's very quickly it was a flawless for the defenders, man of war, and it's five for the defenders, zero for the attackers. I think the gameplay will change uh, once. 6 a.m. takes on the defender's side and it will be Man of War who will be on the tackles push. Mohit is trying to hold off in the mid. He's taking great effort to hold off any entry from the mid and the smoking through mid is a very good ang at very good angle to prevent any any sneak or any peek with an operator from the mid. Fang is trying to hold mid market and Alki is with an operator and we have already seen a beautiful shot by Alki with an operator on site B. That would be a death sentence for 6am if they try to push through site B with Alki holding off the operator. Unfortunately, that's we took out Mohit and Fang took out Fire God. Two go uh, there's dead. only last player left in the attacker side. That's Gambler and three on the defenders. Unfortunately, Alki took out Gambler and it's a win again for the defenders. Fang is already using the spike and yes, it's a win. Most of the gameplay has been done with Operator and Phantom and Phantom is proving to be really good for <laughs> defending because it's really light and it's really qu quick. Unfortunately with Vandal it, uh, it's a tap tap and sometimes it doesn't play well out when you're trying to push especially at short ranges. We have Babusha with us. Spectre trying to push through site A. Ahead. So has already put his darts trying to uh, trying to detect any player on site A. Unfortunately, it unfortunately for them, players have already rotated, and it's going to be tough for them to push through site A. Mohit is holding off any push. And he took out Gambler. We have two on the attacker side and four on the defenders. Babusha took out Mohit. That's 2v2. It's going to be really exciting if they are able to push through this one and plant. Babusha is trying to move through mid and Gambler's back is trying to hold off at sight. 
waiting for him to come. I think he might catch the, the defender off guard. One enemy remaining. Unfortunately for Babusha, he got taken out by Fang. Okay. <laughs> That's 2v1. And the defenders vote again. Fang took our gamblers back. And we have mana for at 7, 6 a.m. at 0. I need this. Mana for is, uh, is moving smoothly through the game. It's like it's knife on the butt end. So easy for them to take skills. They're defending very easily and they are preventing any breach on both their sides. Preventing any push. It's really interesting that they are holding off the defender stance very, very well. They are Unfortunately, Mohit took out the first kill for and Gambler was taken out. So sad for 6 a.m. The sword you got taken out and but they got lucky. Fang got revived Gambler and Fang took out Babusha. Unfortunately, they lost another player as quickly as one got revived. The defenders are taking kills one after the other. They are not even giving it a chance for Shot them down. to survive. For a even within a half minute, they take out players as quickly as possible, preventing any breach or any sudden push from the attackers. Damn, they have pushed through the uh, through the through the lobby and killed half of the team. Only one player has is left, and right now the action has courtyard and Alki took out the last kill. Desperate was taken out. Just with a classic. Alki is really good with uh, an operator and a classic, and it shows his quick shots, taking out players at side B and mid, has proven strong point of man of for man of war. And Death Spirit is trying to be as quick and pushing as he can. Moet is Moet Fang. Alki. Great Trek has been holding off at sides A so well, taking out three consecutive kills with a phantom. Babusha is trying to push to try site A this time. They are trying to delay this push, trying to hold off as much as they can before any push because last time it has proven a very bad choice for them to push or rotate from site A to B but this time they are trying to take some delay in their moment unfortunately Fang took out go uh, Fire God uh, Moe took out Dead Spirit and Retrek took out Gambler last place is left and it's 5v1 it's going to be very tough right now for 6am because uh, Great Trek has detected Babusha and unfortunately for him he got taken out very quickly it's 9 for the defenders and 0 for the attackers. 6 am is really trying to push through site 8, hoping for a quick plan. But unfortunately, they are falling like dominoes because Man of War is taking them out one by one. Even before it is just half minute left and they are taking them out it's so quick. Standing ahead. We have Alki taking out Babusha with an operator. It's three on the attacker side and five on the defenders. Alki is taking, trying to take a shot with an operator at the mid. While Gambler has already reached Treehouse. Hoping for a backstab with with Fang in at site A. Sunny is trying trying to detect any player on site B with his Rakon Dark. 
hoping for an instant fire god took out alki and that's kind of a loss but mohit took out fire god as quickly as possible and there's just one player left on the attackers and three on the defenders sunny's trying to seconds left take anyone off from mid market and he took out a gill gambler's back has been taken out by sunny and it's the defenders winning again it's 10 for the defenders zero for the attackers Man of War is leading the game as he's taking them. This is like very smooth and easy for them. They are taking it very lightly. It's child's play for them to take the kills at the beginning. Usually, attack uh, defenders try to hold off their position at the side. Seldom, seldom they try to push and let the attackers enter before taking off kills. But they are pushing. They have detected what the gameplay that 6 a.m. is playing, and they are. Instead of holding back, they are trying to push themselves. That's kind of interesting. Mohit has taken out the first kill. Fire God is out of the game. It's four for the uh, attackers and five on the defender side. Mohit has taken out another kill. Babusha is out. Fang took out Dead Spirits. Two left on the attacker's side. Enemy remaining. Unfortunately, unfortunately, Mohit took out both the kills for the both the kills and the round attackers lost again it's 11 for the man of four and zero for 6 a.m it's very very hard Very very hard for 6 a.m. to take the game back right now. It's, it's not even the second half, and the uh, the defenders are with 11 rounds in their pocket. Fang is trying to push to side B, trying to hope take uh, any kill from the attackers. He is trying to push just like Mohit tried to push through side A last time. Unfortunately, uh, Great Checker took out Gambler, Fang took out Desperate. Very unfortunate for the attackers. 6 a.m. is losing this game right now, but it can turn around for them for last this round. Unfortunately, Sunny. last player left and Gambler's back took out Sunny. Four for the, on the defenders and Gambler uh, has taken the an Odin. Unfortunately, Elki took out Gambler's back with an Aries and it's 12 on the defenders. Switching sides. <laughs> Match point. Maybe 6 a.m. will turn around once they are on the defender's side this time. It's not it's not too late as of yet. They still have time. Many games have turned around even at 12 0. So 6 a.m. might take this win when they are on the defender's side. Lucky for Man of War, they defended the map so well in the beginning that they just have to take one win in this round to win the entire match. It's 12 for Man of War, they have taken it so smoothly. The game is already in their pockets, so it might be a little hard for 6 a.m. this time. Great Checker is trying to connect with his team, trying to avoid their push. Holding off as much as they can. He's they are going to push late. Great Checker has made a strategy well enough with Sunny to push through side A as quickly and as fast after holding off for a few seconds. It it worked out well for them. They have already entered side B. They are one going to plant the remains. spike. Alki is with the spike. He's already planting one on, left on the defenders. The spike. Gambler's back is trying to hold off. Unfortunately, Mohit take out the Gambler's last kill. Win. It's complete win for the man of four. They won the round with 13-0. 6 a.m. Unfortunately, lost, but they uh, took off the game very well. They tried to hold off as much as they can. Unfortunately for them, man of four prove out to be a tough competitor for them we have the match st um, stats right now great tracker is at 18 kills 5 death and 8 assists it's 
He's the highest tracker in Man of War. Pang is the second with 16 kills. Man of War is who has taken the game at so well, so quickly that I think they breezed through it. We have Mohit with 13 kills, Sunny with 9, Alki with 10. He took out most of the kills with the operator, and that was kind of interesting to see um, it on the map. Uh, Death Spades is 5 kills and Gambler at 3. Gambler's FTW at 3 and Babusha at 3 and Fire got at 2. I hope you enjoyed the game. We'll be back with the second round of the match. Uh, this is group stage. We have next match between TFL and T Team Ritz. I hope to see you soon. Let's hope this game continues very well for the attackers and defenders on both rounds let's see what the new map is very soon we'll be right back after a short break wait for us see you guys
welcome guys we are back and this time we have amid us a very exciting new team that has joined this time and it's is going to be tfl and team ritz so hope you guys enjoy this match and we hope it's as exciting for you as it's for us We have defenders TR Lacy, Savage FML, TR Split Shot, TR Paul, Ryoshi, and on attackers we have Frix, Maddie, Quincy, Orima, Orochi Maru, and Mix. That would be a very hard name to pronounce as of now. I'm really, really confused how I'll be pronouncing them. So. We have the Ryoshi on the defender side and the Lazy Sage FML, Savage FML, the Split One Shot. She, uh, she is going to be rain on this time, and the Paul is our Brimstone. This is a very different lineup. We have Soa Brimstone, Rena Jet, and Killjoy on the defenders, and Reese, Omen, Sova, Sage, and Rena on the attackers. They both have taken two Sentinels. Which uh, one one sentinel each, one one controller each, and actually two controllers. It's going to be launching smoke and one initiator. So it's going to be very interesting. This combination is a very different lineup, but it's going to be proved Shut very down. exciting. And the map has been chosen split. Split is always a very exciting and a very different map because the new new changes have brought about a lot of advantage to the attackers than the defenders. Especially on A tower, from the ramp it has been, the door has been increased One in the gap ready. and we have TR Paul taking out Maddie. So, Team Brits has taken out already two kills and the defenders have won. Right here. TFL is attacking and Team Brits is defending. So, it's kind of exciting that the defenders won this round and it has, it is one win for the Team Brits. And zero for TFL. Turned out. Split has proven to be the new map people are choosing in Valorant matches. Usually people take out accent map as a choice Smoke of map because it's easier on both attackers and defenders but uh, split is a very hard map to defend and also in attack. If the team is in good coordination, the attacking becomes very easy but very hard to defend if the coordination falls back because map has the split map has changed a lot since the last update and we have one Jet, jet, jet and Ohm so are missing from the defenders and just three defenders left of yes yet Rage is trying to take a kill with a boom pod unfortunately for TR Paul it's a very hard defend unfortunately Frax took out Paul and we have two left on the defenders and three on the attacks unfortunately Krins took out TR split shot and TR lazy so attackers won this round it's 1-1 one, one on both attackers and defender Nitz is still planting, hoping to take one point for, for the spike plant. Unfortunately, he couldn't. Out. We have one one kill, both on attackers and defenders. The attackers took up the last match with pretty smartly. They proved 
very very powerful on the chain yeah. rafters and ramps so uh, so this is going to be very tough for tr lazy Ritz is trying to defend at uh, side B with Killjoy posted at side B and Rest posted at side A. That's kind of a nice strategy because mostly ah, Killjoy can hold off side B very well with her turrets and her nano swarms. Savage has already rotated to side A trying to assist Killjoy from preventing any breach at side B. Unfortunately for them, the attackers took out the defenders so easily this round. Tia split shot is trying to rotate back to site A in hopes of taking off kills and preventing the spike from getting off. Unfortunately, Omen is trying to prevent her push at site B. Mary and Reese are trying to guard off at site B. It's going to be very no he, very hard for split shot to go to side A. I think she is going to save this round. Reina is going to save, guys. It's, no it's very, 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 very hard to push last at side A standing. at the last moment. Omen is trying to rotate back, taking, hoping to take uh, Reina off from back if she has rotated. But unfortunately, she got lucky and she could save her gun this round. Orichimaru is with a spectre trying to decide which gun to buy I guess. Tia Lazy is back at side B putting off his turrets and all trying to prevent the last breach that happened in the last round. This time I think they will be posting two players at side B and three at uh, posting two players at side A, A B and three players at side A. Unlucky for them, we see the whole gathering of, uh, of attackers at side A this time instead of B. Tiar Paul has uh, come up from Ben, already using his smokes at side A and and preventing any entry from the ramps. Ryoshi is holding off with Rina on the ramps. Taking out one player of the other, the Ochimaru and Frex was remains. taken out so easily. The defenders won this round. It's two for the defenders, two for the attackers. It's a neck to neck match. Both the teams are holding off the attack and defenders one by one. And it's going to be quite interesting to see how this match. Okay, guys, so our Hindi ke request is that because my English is speaking, so I have to say in Hindi. Okay, bro, Hindi me kar dete hain. Aapke commentary aur batate hain how this is going to change. Launching smoke. You will not kill my ally. Unfortunately. Paul got taken out. We have some. The hunt begins. Right here. The hunt. They will cover. I am the hunt. One enemy remaining. The defenders won this round. Tia Lazy Wapas se B side pe apna turret aur nano swarm plant kar raha hai out. Preventing, trying to prevent any entry at side B Or Ryoshi is trying to hold off at side At side A with Ochimaru pushing with Nyx And Savage is trying to operate at side B.
guys there's some issue with the hut uh, unfortunately we'll change the names of the players playing teams as of now savage fml took out mandy we have three okay time for approach. defenders won again four for the defenders two for the attackers tr paul took out the last kill One enemy remaining. Tia Lazy is in the vents this time instead of side B. Holding off any push from the vents, that's a very different uh, placement of the turret. Especially on vents, that's hard, seldom seen in maps. Savage is trying to hold off any push from side B this time with an operator. Tia Split is trying to hold off any push at the ramps at site A. So we ha have a uh, brimstone has been taken out by the omen. Split shot is has taken out Maddie. It's 4v4, and the game has just turned around for both the teams from the last match because the defenders took out four kills, four rounds, and the attackers are still at three. Spike has been planted, Prince took out. Roshi, split shot took out Nits and Prince took out split shot. Unfortunately, TR Lazy took out Prince. Prince and uh, Savage FML is trying to trying to defuse the spike, and it was uh, Frex was taken out by Savage, and the spike was defused. Ochimaru took out Savage, but unfortunately, the defenders won after defusing the spike five for the defenders three for the attackers placing alarm bot turn up Take flight. Rish is trying to hold off the mid from. He has already used his drone. Seven FML took out, was taken out by Quincy. Unfortunately, three, uh, four 
B2 and Yoshi took out Grinzy. Frax took out Split One Shot. And it's 3v2. Sage is all using her wall, trying to push to side B. Unfortunately, Frax was taken out by Ryushi took out Frax. TR Paul took out Mandy and Frax took out TR Paul. It's 1v1. The attackers won. Frax took out TR Lazy. And it's 4 for the attackers, 5 for the defenders. It's a neck to neck match. It's playing out really well for them. Both the team are trying to hold and attack very well. It's, it's working out for both the teams as Split is being a map of advantage for both attackers and defenders. Even despite the map ha being ha having a recent update, both the teams are playing very well on it. The, uh, Savage FML is trying to hold off any push at side B. From rafters in the winds. Tia split shot is on side B. That's a very different place for usually. Kiljo takes the side B, but they are uh, keeping a quick change of rotations between the players in holding of the sides. Tia split one shot is trying to take off Omen, but unfortunately, Ochimaru took out Tia split one shot. It's 3v5 and the attackers are pushing at site A but Killjoy is already present. Tia Lazy took out Mandy but Nyx took out Tia Lazy. It's 1v2 and we have Tia Paul left on the defender's side. Would he be able to take off the last two players? It's going to be ex really exciting to see. Fragsy took out Tia Paul and it's a win for the attackers. It's 5v5, a neck to neck match between Team Ritz and TE TCL. TFL have proven to be both good at attacking and preventing quick rotations. From the defenders, they are taking great rotations while going from A to B, preventing any backstab from the defenders if that's even happening from their side. Greasy is trying to Deploying use drone. his drone, trying to take a peek at side B, hoping to give info to his teammates. Very quickly, the, the attackers have pushed to side B. Sage is already planting the spike, taking our players one by one. It's three left on the defenders, three on the attackers. It's going to be really exciting how this match was turned around because it's 5v5 as of now. One win by the attackers and defenders can turn this match around. Tia Lizzy took out Nyx. And Yoshi took out the Omen. Arena took out Reina. Oh, no, no. You don't the defenders the won. As six for the defenders, five for the attackers. Last round before the switch. Ryoshi, Ryoshi is at already at site 8, trying to take info with his reckoning dart, trying to give info to his teammates, whether it should rotate to site 
it as quickly as possible and lucky for him the info has been relayed both brimstone and jet are trying to rotate jet is trying to rotate through the winds uh, through the sewers trying to allies. trying to take them off guard from the back unfortunately for them Savage front, Fragzi and Maddie off guard and they took them out. It's 2v2. Nyx just got saved a little bit unfortunately. Savage took him out. And it's 2 on the defender side. 1 left on the attackers. Quincy is trying spike. to take the spike, hoping to take a plant at A if there is no one around. And uh, the reckoning drought proves to be a little bit fruitful for him. He, he might take a sneak back at side A instead of rotating to side B. Unfortunately, Savage FML was took out Quincy. Switching sides. We have seven rounds in the attacker's pocket and five on the defender's side. Here. Embarrassing. Man is going to plan uh, use her wall at the uh, at site B and prevent any push to the mid. Unfortunately, Savage took out Manny. Frag took out Savage. Unfortunately for Sage, the wall proved to be less fruitful. Because the attackers pushed to side B very quickly. There was a very quick, quick Placing push and Ochimaru took out Brimstone. But the spike got planted and it's left up to Omen to Andrina to get back to side A, defuse the spike and take the win. But split one shot has already detected Reina and Rex got taken out. Orochimaru is trying to push through side B. Unfortunately, he took out Ryoshi and Spishot took out Orochimaru. Attackers won. It's 8 for the attackers, 5 for the defenders. But the game could turn around and any movement because it's still not late. We were seeing a neck-to-neck -neck match and it's very highly possible for the defenders to take the game back again and win the next round. This round can be the win for the defenders if they can defend the map and any push from the attacker Frexy is trying to hold off the vents Maddie is back again walling off the mid preventing any entry at side B or any push to site A through the vents Unfortunately for them, attackers were taken up with the defenders one by one. And we have two people left on the attacker's side, four on the defenders. One enemy remaining. Defenders won. The defenders took the next round. This round very easily. I hope this round proves out to be as fruitful as the last round for them because the attackers are at 8 and it's quite a lead by them for the two rounds in their pocket. So they are not that much faced by this round's win by the defenders. But if they can take the next round, it will give them an entirely different lead for them.
Savage of Emil is trying to enter the side B through the mid. Unfortunately, Mary's wall is preventing him from pushing, but the Jets updraft might help in the entry to side A and B. Right here. Jets up updraft proves very very fruitful when there's a mid ball. Especially if she can updraft and enter side B, giving an edge to her teammates to take a push at side B. Queen Z took out Savage FML. Unfortunately, it's 4v4. Queen Z has already rotated and he is back at side B, Spike taking out Ryoshi. It's 2v3. Brimstone is trying to push right at side B. B. One enemy remaining. But Orichimaru took him out. The defenders won. Orichimaru took out TR Lazy. And the defenders won. It's 8 for the attackers, 7 for the defenders. The defenders are one-upping the attackers, taking the game one by one Here. very slowly. It was earlier. 8v6 and now it's 8 rounds from the attackers, 7 of the defenders. They are one match and they will be a, a tie with them. It will be quite equal position and they might bring the attackers down if they win this round too. The attackers have quickly pushed to side B. We have lots of action going on. Last player standing. We have somebody say snake camping in weird spots. That's kind of an exciting statement to give to the defenders, I guess. Quick peeks now. Alarm bot out. TRLZ has already put his alarm bot to prevent any backstabbing from the defenders if they try to push at them from behind. Savage FML is with a Vandal and the Flame Vandal and trying to push through mid. This time the entry is going to be a little different from the attackers. They are trying to prevent entry from B. Instead, they are trying to push through the mid and vents. Whether they'll push to th uh, through the vents and go to site 8 for planting or to B is is going to be exciting. Ryoshi is already at site 8 trying. Trying to check if there's somebody lurking around in the vents. Mandy and Crazy are at side B trying to take a quick rotation with Rays. The info has been relayed to them and they are going back to site A. With Pixie rotating at side B. To just check if there's somebody coming back. It's three on the attack, three left on the attackers and four on the defenders. Three v three right now. Tialazi is really, really low on health. It might prove dangerous for him if he tries to push right now and take off a kill. Prince, he took out Tialazi and it's two v two. The spike has been planted, and Savage FML is trying to hold off Rayoshi to planted the spike is now he's uh, using his recon dart to know the info where the players are he's trying to give a backstab to madi no charges left and crazy revealing area we have seen some good use of recon dart by both the sovas giving relaying info to their teammates uh, taking off kill one I'll by one as soon no as man, it's done on. 
Unfortunately, the Hunter's Fury turned out to be advantageous for the attackers as T.R. Yoshi used his Hunter's Fury to take out both the last players and get a win for his teammates. It's 9 for the attackers, 8 for the defenders. Maddie's trying to wall off again. He's trying to take ultimate use of his sage and prevent any breach from the attackers. He's holding guarding off site be very well, preventing any breach and giving his teammates an edge over the entries. I hope this turns out well for the defenders this time. With Queen Z at site B. Orochimaru at side A. Both the Sovas are proving very, run. very interesting, giving interesting outcome to the game because they are trying to relay as much information for their teammates. Savage took out Mali, Prexy took out Savage FML. It's 4 versus 4. Uh, split shot took out Crinzy. Nyx took out Ryoshi. It's 3v3. One enemy remaining. The Alesi took out Fragzi. It's 3 on the attackers, 1 on the defenders. Maybe this round will be take, uh, we will see the attacker win. That's only Omen left in the defender's side. And he's trying to take a quick kill at site A which might prove very dangerous for him because split one shot has already de detected his presence at site B. Unfortunately split shot took out Orochimaru and it was an attacker's win in this round. It's 10 on the attackers, 8 on the defenders. Team Ritz is proving very very tough for the defenders to overcome because they are pushing very quickly, rotating very fast. Sova is giving, drilling them information very smartly through his recon dart, giving an advantage to its players to know where the defenders are, helping them in a quick push to side B. I think Ryoshi is the toughest player on the team Ritz. To take out as of now because for the last 2-3 rounds he has been the one planting the spike, preventing the diffuse and giving his teammates an edge. Fragzi took out Split Shot, Savage took out, Maddie took out TR Paul and Orichimaru took out the uh, Lazy. It's two on the attackers and four on the defenders. This might not, uh, this round might be overcome by the defenders and they might take a win. Unfortunately, Savage FML took out Maddie and Crinzy. It's 2v2. This, uh, the attackers brought the round back in their pocket by taking out the last two players and giving advantage to themselves, making this a 2v2. So it might turn around for attackers yet again and they might take this game by one round if the defenders can't prevent the last player standing. The spike might not get diffused because Otimaru took out the last of the attackers. Ryoshi is trying to prevent the spike being diffused. Unfortunately for him, he's quite low on health. Shimari took try to peek and take a peek at Riz, but unfortunately Nyx took, uh, took the kill and defenders won. It's 10 for the attackers, 9 for the defenders. Defenders are holding off the game to be won by the attackers and it's proving very fruitful because Nyx took the last round and he is 
proving very well in defending side B. Especially seeing that uh, usually Killjoy lurks at side B. It's a unique stance by the team to give raise the hold at side B. Feeling sight. Maddie, as usual, trying to hold off any entry from the mids by using her wall. Unfortunately, it got broken. F uh, Savage is trying to op Nyx and he was successful. It's 5 on the attackers, 4 on the defenders. Split one shot is trying to take a kill from the sewers, trying to push through site A. It's 4v4 and the round can be won by the attackers and both defenders because both teams are on equal pay level. They are trying to hold off at side B, preventing attack on side A. Uh, doing quick rotations between teammates and it's proving very hard for both of them to take each round in their pocket so savage is trying to take a kill with the classic but unfortunately for him crimson took him out with the, a sheriff uh, no a classic tr paul took frenzy frenzy took out tr paul unfortunately for him it's one v one it's reina versus reina it's quite interesting. This time it's Reina versus Reina, and any I moment the round can either be won by the defender or by the attackers. It's a match between equal powers, but unfortunately for him, oh, I thought this split shot might take out Frexy, but Frexy took out split shot. It was a very smart move. Clutch. It's a clutch, guys, and we have. 10 on the defenders, 10 on the attackers, and both are at neck to neck in this match. According to Ashwin, Ryoshi is a hunter in real life too. I guess your friend is kind of a hunter. He's taking out kills one by one and is proving really, really advantageous for his teammates. I need to blow something up. Maddie has his ult. There might be a revival in this round if any player gets knocked down. And unfortunately for the attackers, Jet was taken out early on in the game. Tia Lazy is Tia Lazy split TR one shot. And Tia Paul are trying to do a quick rotation at side B instead of pushing through side uh, from side B and pushing to side A. Right here. Right here. Tia Lazy took out Maddie and Split Shot is trying to push through the ramps. Unfortunately for them, Tia Ryoshi took out Orochimaru and Frax took out Tia Lazy. Nyx is has taken out Ryoshi and Split Shot took out Nyx. We have Sova and Rena left. Remaining. Unfortunately, Rena got taken. It's Rena versus Rena again. Split shot has taken out Princey, and it's Rena versus Rena. The spike is almost getting 
PB unfortunately Fexy took out split shot and he's defeated the spike but 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 unfortunate for him it was a clutch and the attackers won this round that was quite a lily by the teammates they prevented the spike being defused and they won the round even though they got killed by the defenders split shot tr paul ryoshi and tr lazy are at side b we might see a quick rotation like last time if this happens jet is already in the sewers Taking an entry from mid, Maddy ball got broken early in the beginning. That was quite a, quite a loss for Maddy. Balls are costly these times after the Sage got nerfed. Play shot took out Quincy. And it's 5v3. Orichimaru took out TR Lazy. TR Paul took out Nyx. And it's 5v2. One enemy remaining. Fragzy took out TR Paul and Split Shot took out Fragzy. It's 3v1. Orichimaru took out Ryoshi very easily. Planted. Last player standing. Orichimaru took out Split Shot. It's and savage took out orichimaru attackers won it's 12 for the attackers 10 on the defender's side jet was quite savage in the last game her name suits her really well so the so i must say savage took is being savage the entire round taking kills from operator taking glass kills and clutching the game I think Team Ritz has pretty tough players on their side. With operators, you have a higher advantage of winning because they can take the shots from the Rams, Rafters, and they can prevent any entry at uh, from the mid. Fragzi is trying to hold off in the vents with Maddie already using the wall, but which is proving less fruitful by every round as the attackers are still pushing through the mids. Spike has been already pl planted by the attackers. And Savage took out Fragzy. Like I said, Savage is being savage. And he took out last two kills with Attacker Ryoshi taking out Maddie. The attackers Let's go. got won this round. The defenders lost. It's a win for them. It was a very exciting match, especially by Team Brits, where Savage proved out to be the highest fragger with 28 kills. Fragzi in the second with the attacker side on 26 kills. Orichimaru at 23. Team TFL proved their worth, but unfortunately, Savage won the round one by one with Ryoshi right by his side, preventing any entry, giving re really good knowledge uh, and... Uh, advantage to them through his darts his recon darts proved very 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 fruitful for them as he relayed information very quickly gave chances of quick rotation to both his teams tr paul with 12 12 kills and tr lazy with 12 with split shot at 25 kills we have the team winning this round and that's team ritz they have proven very well at both attacking and defending i think 
this was quite an exciting match it was neck to neck from the start but it was interesting i hope we see you in the next match guys uh give us sh- uh, give your uh, shout out and comments on the links and we'll give you a shout out during the match if it's possible and check out the giveaway that's happening right now we'll be back with the next match pretty soon hope to see you soon guys wait for it we'll be right right back
we are back guys we are live again and this time we have asex squad versus parabellum asex has been our last time runner up and has won the second place in gaming goblet 2020 match of 50k last year now this time we have parabellum and asex squad face off and hopefully this will be an exciting match Bion is the choice of the map that they have taken this time and Select usually we have agent. seen isn't isn't being the choice in the last tournament that we had this time we are having different maps and it may be because this is due to the inclusion of icebox in this tournament we have five maps as of this as of this tournament and maybe that's giving an edge to the players to choose different map instead of relying only on ascent so we have seen ascent split and now it's bind which team would be beneficial from this map is yet to see and at defending we have a6 squad and attackers we have parabellum a6 has got some new teammates escabon uh flabby eagle opm flabby eagle is the igl of a6 squad opm shusta messi and escabon are now going to defend bind map and it's going to be really exciting to see how parabellum actually attacks because asex is quite good at defending maps uh melon sexy boy tomb splinter and krypton are going to attack on fine map side a i think it's going to be a very exciting round to see the match has begun and as of now we are seeing some going to some some action at side a guys do like subscribe and comment we have a hundred likes target and as many subs as we can get so we can bring more interesting tournament to you all guys soon we are going to start off with our scrims valorant scrims and if you get lucky you might have a chance to win 200 inr cash prize with your teammates and the scrims are going to be held up completely free so you can bring with any team get a playoff match and it's been exciting giveaways and cash prizes of inr 200 as of now we have three versus three uh messi took out sexy boy and the spike has been planted by melon Messi took off Doom and we have 1v3 Flabby Eagle took off Krypton Hunter. The spike has been planted. It's going to be a tough defuse because but Messi took out Melon and the defenders won. Asex squad won the round. One for the defenders, zero for the attackers. Parabellum lost the round but it's not yet not, yet not over. The round has just begun so the game can turn around at any moment. Messi is playing Raze, Ikabon is playing, Iskabon is playing Omen. We have Killjoy, Sexy Boy as Omen and Killjoy on the other team. The, the lineup of this match is quite interesting because we have both Killjoy Get and Omen down, on both please. the teams. Raze and Breach is uh, common for both the teams too. I think Breach is the new choice for players in tournaments now nowadays because it has been proven very fruitful for players to get entry entry into the site especially with Breach's flash Breach flash and phoenix flash proved to be the best entry point at bind maps and with reina's blind it's very easy to enter the site and take it over unfortunately flabby eagle took out doom and asex messi took out splinter well is trying to rotate at site b and he's successful asex took out the player and we have 4v2 the defenders are taking a perfect chance right now to prevent any attack from parabellum killjoy took out opm and we have three versus two both the killjoy and omen are left in on both the teams Last only less race being the exceptional one iskabon took out omen it's Omen versus Omen and a kill for a kill. So we have 3v2. Left. Killjoy is trying to. Oh, unfortunately for him. A6 Messi took an entry from A exit and took the Killjoy out. Unfortunately for Parabellum, they lost this round. Two for the uh, uh, 
defenders and zero for the attackers is explored once it's found by one guys do like subscribe and comment the more we see the comments the more we see the likes the more you people follow the more tournaments we can host so do like subscribe and comment bring your friends along get a chance to win the giveaway we are having a prismal gun skin giveaway and any valorant gun skin which you can win if you bring your friends and have the highest tagging of your friends on our chat section with the hashtag hashtag gaming goblet so bring along your friends do like comment and subscribe the attackers are going trying to push through the hookah through the b window killjoy used her turret to try to take a peek into this God. window along with breach uh Shufstar took out sexy boy the omen got taken out by the, uh, by the e6 squad Shufstar Splinter is trying to take a quick rotation from B long hoping to assist Killjoy in but unfortunately for them the defenders are holding their position very very well and I think it would be good for the attackers to rotate as of now because the defenders are uh, holding off the side B well enough. Killjoy took out OPN who was trying to take a kill through the teleporter from site A. It's 3 versus 1 right now. Only Krypton is left on the attackers. A6 uh, squad took out the kill very easily in this round too. As for the race. Messi took out uh, the breach Krypton Hunter and they won the round again. It's 3 for the attacker, uh, defenders, A6 squad and 0 for the attackers. Parabellum needs to change nice. their gameplay because the entry is proving hard for them at side B. So they might rotate to side A this time. If they are lucky enough, they might get a chance to win this round. Iskabon trying to hold off any entry from si uh, at site A by using his smokes and giving a blind and cover in the bath, preventing entry from the bath. Kyuja has placed her alarm bot trying to prevent Razor's push through AB link using a storm grenade to. Lower the health of Rays and Killjoy was successful. She took out uh, Messi and Escabon took out Sexy Boy. Omen was your role and Kill was a skill. It's going to be tough for the attackers. Right now, only Killjoy and Swan Phoenix are out. left on the attackers. MF Doom is trying to push to site B from the hookah while uh, Flabby Eagle is already on guard at site B. He's just waiting for a rotation from uh, from the attackers, and he detected someone's entry into the window. Unfortunate for them, uh, Killjoy turret left. is going to be a hard thing to overcome, especially at the angle they are okay. as of uh, now. OPM took out a very beautiful shot with an operator, killing the Killjoy with just one headshot, and Flabby Eagle took out FM Doom. And the defenders won the round again by one. It's four for the defenders, zero for the attackers. Parabellum needs to change their gameplay and win this round again. If they want to take this game by a surprise, they need to change their gameplay. Push through site A if they want. Confuse the teammates and win. Sexy boy, MF Doom Splinter are trying to go to A this time. Krypton Hunter is trying to use his. Unfortunately, OPM took out Krypton and Killjoy with her blade. The attackers lost three of its teammates. Last player. And Escabon took out Splinter. We have Sexy Boy left of now. Flabby Eagles trying to. Flank and take a kill in the bath. Sexy boy took out Shrewstar. It's three on the uh, defenders, one on the attackers. Sexy boy is left Careful. and he is 
was trying to do a quick sexy boy took out flabby eagle that was a that was a quick kill unfortunately from him a pretty proved a uh, wrong choice as of now in lamps especially when the um, messy came and killed him in the lamps well done. no it's five for the defenders zero for the attackers Flabby Eagle is using, uh, using his turrets and bots well enough at side B. Killjoy always proves a very good agent on bind, especially while trying to hold off at site. Holding off at site entries at B point. Sexy Messi took out Killjoy and Krypton took out Sexy is messy so we have opm trying to take One a peek with the remaining. operator it's true star trying to take a peek from ka preventing any entry from ab link especially but unfortunately flabby eagle took out sexy boy and the defender wounds the round again six zero Essex squad has proved their worth in the last tournament which we had in 2020. They proved a very tough competitor for Uttarakhand Esports and they are taking the game by quite a surprise. They are not giving any chance from the attackers Parabellum to even push through site B or 8th for a plant. We are seeing some new players in Essex squad and so are we seeing new players in Parabellum too. Messi is trying to take push instead of defending and trying to push through AB link we have some action uh, from Reyna and Killjoy trying to push through site A from Cup B and and Lamps but unfortunately for them Jet took Reyna out Sexy Messi took out Crypto Crypto on Hunger and Flabby Eagle took out Killjoy. The defender won the round very smoothly. 7 for the defender, 0 for the attackers. It's like a kiss of death for a Parabellum because they are getting killed one by one, falling like dominoes. Unfortunately, it's a hit and miss every time they're trying to push through site A. They might get an entry, but it's not proving worthwhile for them, yes. especially because Flabby Eagle, OPM. And Escapon are trying to hold off their position very well at side A and B both. There has been an interchange of players on both sides. While Killjoy is holding at side B, there's not a much rotation from Killjoy because usually Killjoy holds off side B very well. But this time, Killjoy is uh, Flabby is trying to push through A B link, trying to take off any players. They are trying to push and kill instead of defending. There are the attackers, the hunters are being hunted instead of defenders being the defenders. Flag Beagle was taken out by Killjoy. It's 3v3. The push didn't work out well for Flabby Eagle. But uh, Messi and OPN are trying to hold off. Messi took out Killjoy and it's 3v3. Both Preach and Race are low on health. But Phoenix and Omen are holding off their position very well in the bath. Sexy Boy and Doom FM are uh, Doom FM is trying to push any backstab happening at site A while Sexy Boy is trying to push to site A at any given point of time. The smokes have been in place. 30 seconds left. Unfortunately, their steps have given away their position and raises on almost on the lookout of, for, to kill them. Unfortunately, Messi took out Doom FM and Sexy Boy took out Messi. But we have breached as of yet now, preventing any unfortunately defender wound around even though Sexy Boy took out True Star at the end.
if they had been just a little bit earlier in they have been just a little bit earlier in planting they would have taken the game by surprise and won this round As usual, we see Fabi Eagle trying to hold off the, uh, the attackers from pushing at side B, putting his turrets in place. Jet, Raze, and Breach, and Killjoy are trying to push instead of defending. As I said, the attackers are being attacked. They are being hunted one by one instead of being the hunter. Escapon took out Krypton Hunter. And we have OPN trying to take kills with his updraft and ult. His plates are going to prove worthy enough in this round because one enemy remaining. Iskabon took out Splinter. We have Shusta. Unfortunately, the uh, OPN's blades got wasted in this round. His ult was got wasted, but they won the round yet again 9 for the defenders 0 for the attackers e6 squad in the lead guys parabellum needs to bring back their game to win a round again e6 squad they need to change their gameplay take this round surprise them in a way that they e6 uh, squad didn't thought of we have 60 boy trying to hold oh, off players at side a wild killjoy has already placed a turret at side B. Flabby Eagle is trying to place his position. Flabby Eagle is, is a very tough IGL. He has held his position very well at both side A and B. Trying to take a peek at side A and B while also pushing. Messi took up Krypton Hunter. We have an ult guys. So Phoenix has used his ult to plant the spike. This time, lucky for the attackers, they have already planted the spike. OPM run. took out Sexy Boy. Killjoy has used his ult. And Flappy Enemy Eagle took remain. out uh, MF Doom. Excabon took out Splinters. Attackers lost this round, guys. It's a diffuse and a flawless gameplay by Flappy Eagle and his team. OPN is is quite an interesting player. He's taking kills both from the Phantom and with an operator. And trying to push and give as much as much frags as he can to his teammates. And uh, being a jet top fragging and fragging for the teammates is what a killjoy the uh, what a jet does. And he's doing it very well. He's giving a chance for his teammates to flank and kill the team uh, kill the opposite team as of now we have messi and flabby eagle trying to hold off side b unfortunately omen got uh, shoot starter got taken out on the defender side we have killjoy trying to push through Hoka, I guess, but unfortunately, Flabby Eagle took him out. We have a kill for a kill. Killjoy taking out Killjoy. We are seeing shot after shot by both attackers and defenders, but unfortunately, it's not proving fruitful for the Parabellum because OPM took out Splinter. And taking out Rain up uh, uh, is quite, quite bad, especially if, because of a blind. And Phoenix is the only one left off in Parabellum's team as of now. MF Doom is either going to doom or be doomed. 30 seconds left. Unfortunately, Messi took out MF Doom even though he had quite an edge over her because there's footsteps were too loud Last but round that was a half. quick peek from Messi's side and Messi took out the kid. Messi is proving very very advantageous for a team especially with uh, her uh, but Messi's boom buff and quick uh, paint chills it's going very well for the A6 squad all the players are holding off their positions very well giving quick pushes quick defending Careful. positions 
and holding of the places flabby eagle is has already rotated with rays and is pushing to uh, through ab link you're going to take the, the att uh, attackers off guard by their back backstabbing them D have raises pain shields uh, just trying to push through Hookah Sexy boy has used his uh, teleported and he is in the B hall he has pushed through the elbow and maybe he might be able to take the players off guard unfortunately for him true stuff got the first shot at him oh, as yeah, soon yeah. as he reached the B, uh, uh, B hall Splinter has taken the same position as him and taken out a kill. He got lucky and he took out two kills. OP and and True Star. It's Omen versus Reyna. And it's very exciting. Who will win this round? Uh, Iskapon did a smart move by teleporting away from there. He's already in the clutch. Got it. Unfortunately, Splinter took Iskapon out. He planted and said one Switching win sides. for the first win for the attackers. Bind map is proving tough for Parabellum as of now, but lucky for them, Splinter took the round off by surprise. He got the last kill, he took out their omen and won the round by one. So, 11 for the attackers, is a squad uh, defenders, and one for the attackers. Attackers, but now the place positions have changed. Splinter and his team Parabellum are trying to defend their position at site A and B while B have a six spot attacking them. It's a push from OPN. He's trying to take the uh, highest frag as of now. He's trying to push through the lamp. From BKB, he has already taken out Splinter. Messi took out MF2. Uh, Iskabon took out Sexy Boy. Omen taking out Omen. That's quite an interesting position to hold. OPN is quite out in the open. It's very enemy remaining. The attackers won easily. We can see OPN celebrating out there. Match point. It's a match point, guys. The match is just coming to end. And A6 squad is already in the lead with 12 rounds. It's very hard for Parabellum to now take the game back. But we have seen huge comebacks from players. And it might be for Parabellum too. They might turn this game around any moment. Sexy boy, MF2, Splinter are trying to hold their position as much as they can. Unfortunately for them. Flash out! Flabby Eagle and his team are going to push very quickly from from side B, I think. OPM has already entered the side. He has been giving his teammates the entry throughout the entire match. Whether flanking and pushing and he's... He is using a judge, which is quite interesting. We have mostly seen players not use judge. Unfortunately, he got taken out by Sexy Boy. And as I said, Parabellum has taken the game by surprise. They brought this game round and they won sexy boy. Took out the last two kills. He killed He killed OPM. That's quite interesting. OPM was with the judge and unfortunately, even after taking quite some frags, it proved very tough for him against the omen. Star is using his breach very well, giving flashes at the exact moment his team is entering, giving them chances to enter, especially to especially to Jet who is pushing off as much as she can. OPM is like always. Killjoy has planted. Uh, Flappy Eagle has planted his the spike, put on the Nano Swarm, and root. Retreated back. They are smartly trying to guard the spike from being defused. Sexy boy is trying to push 
and take a peek at them. Hoping for a kill before he starts defeating the spike. Remaining. And damn, Parabellum has taken the game again. Uh, they are giving a tough competition to X Asic Squad by being the defenders. I think uh, Parabellum was uh, having a hard time uh, defending their round, but as an uh, attacking the round, but as a defender, they are proving as a beneficial team because they are coordinating well enough with the teammates, trying to prevent any entry from the A6 squad. But even after that, once the spike has been planted, they are taking off them one by one and defusing the spike. They are retaking the game. Get out of my way! This time, Fabi Eagle is coordinating with the breach, I think, for the entry. And OPM is trying to take out solo kills. As a duelist, I think Jed is working very well for them. OPM is trying to take frags for the team, giving them an entry chance. With Messi coordinating with Jed. Unfortunately, they have um, Phoenix's flash. Kind of turned out to be a hindrance, but they pushed through it. I have the spike. Iskabon has the spike, and I think he's trying to push and plant as soon as he can. Unfortunately for them, Killjoy took out Shrew Star. OPN took out Killjoy. It's 4v1. And unfortunately, the attackers won. Parablum tried win. their level best. They won three rounds, but unfortunately, the A6 squad took out 13 rounds and won this. Unfortunately, for the group stage of today, we have three winners. Uh, three teams that have won Man of War, Team Ritz, and A6 squad. A6 squad Messi got 26 kills, the highest frag. And OPM got 17 kills as i said messi and opian coordinated very well during the entire match iskabon uh, smoked very well with 14 kills and flabby eagle 10 kills melon took out 13 kills from parabellum that was quite amazing splinter took out eight sixy boy took out nine doom took out six shoe star from a6 squad took out six and krypton hunter took out four splinter and melon tried their level best along with sexy boy i think sexy boy did amazingly well he took out uh, two rounds for two rounds for parabellum and they and given give them gave a chance to them to win two rounds at least uh, even though they lost around by 13 3 i think 